Hi, it's Victoria here from Bam Pow Life and in this video I want to talk about dating while fat and having self-esteem. So I am single and ready to mingle. Hi boys! I've been single for about 18 months now. I got out of a six year relationship with a wonderful person um, who was not the right person for me. I started dating um, about eight months after we broke up. And I gotta tell you, it's been a bit of a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years ago, when I was dating previously, I didn't really have high self-esteem. I was getting there, but I wasn't really there. Um, and so dating was actually really easy because I would go on a date with any motherfucker that sent me a message. Even if the message was like, hey, girl, or just hey, I'd be like, oh, be still my beating heart. I think we got Prince Charming on the line. <laughs> and so I'd go on a date with them and they'd be like massively like uh, not a right fit and still I wouldn't run for the hills I'd just be like well we'll see how it goes I went on lots of dates with unsuitable people and when someone was even slightly suitable I would be like oh my god I'm probably gonna marry this guy it was lucky that I ended up with the guy that I did, actually, um, and because he's a nice guy, so but it was lucky because I could have ended up with, you know, whoever looked at me, basically, which is sad, right? So now, when I get the messages from the same types of people, like, hey, I'm just like, no, I'm fucking amazing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got really high standards now. I'm not interested in people who and not going to make the effort who don't realize that I am a queen and obviously uh, sometimes you don't know you can't really tell someone until you meet them and blah 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 but if in the messages uh, if we exchange some messages and I'll give people a little bit of leeway because you never know <sighs> and so um, I have said no to so many dates it's it's really interesting. I find it really interesting that I'm listening to what my intuition is telling me. And so my intuition will say, Victoria, I don't think we like him. And my brain will be like, give him a chance. You never know. Like, you know, that old, um, less confident version of myself. And then the confident one will be like, bitch, no, don't go on a date with him. And so I often don't go on a date. <laughs> um, so I haven't had a date in, Four months now but next week i'm going speed dating so we shall see how that goes if you are fat and dating then good luck to you um try not to when i when i was fat and dating and had low self-esteem i would yeah just say yes to any old tom dick or harry that would come along because i was like i thought i'm lucky that they're overlooking this fatness because really I'm repulsive. So if they are a, a bit weird in the bad way, or if they are, you know, not the best person, then, well, who am I to, you know, turn them down because I'm fat? No, that was such wrong thinking. That was such wrong thinking. I don't think now people are lucky to even go on a date with me. Oh my God, have you seen me? And that is the same attitude that you should have. So no matter if you're fat, thin, tall, short, whatever, people are lucky to have a date with you because they get access to an incredible person. And it doesn't matter if you're fat because you're a fucking queen. That's it. So if you would like some more advice about how to feel confident in your body and love yourself, then head on over to my free Extreme Confidence Makeover, a 10 day e-course just for you. And the link is below. Goodbye.